So a popular saying in the world of addiction recovery and alcoholism is there's good news. You only have to change one thing and that's everything. It could be daunting thought and get very overwhelming, but the really good news is that it doesn't have to be done overnight. In fact, you will not change everything overnight, but if you work on it in chunks, it becomes more manageable and not nearly as overwhelming. It's also crucial to have an accountability partner like a coach or a counselor to guide you through these processes. And one of the tools we use for massive success is called visualization. And I'm not talking about seeing a picture of your favorite house or your car on a website. I mean, visualizing your entire life, your day, your reactions to situations, your interactions with your family's friends and coworkers. Hi, I'm Dennis Berry, best-selling author and life coach for addiction recovery and alcoholism. So there are some very powerful tools out there for managing and even reprogramming your subconscious mind. So keep in mind, our subconscious minds drive over 80% of our actions and thoughts. 80%, that's huge. So our subconscious minds are in control here. Our conscious minds, the part of our mind that makes plans and goals and wishes for things, only drives like 20% of our lives. So when you have that massive impossible to-do list, your conscious mind did that. But your subconscious mind says, now nah, let's check Facebook and watch the news and eat some cookies or have a glass of whiskey or go to the bar and play some video games. We'll get to that list tomorrow. That's your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind wants to keep you comfortable. So how does visualization work? Well, one of the reasons the law of attraction and positive thinking don't work on their own, well, there are a lot of reasons actually, but one is that you can't just think your way into change. You have to act and feel your way into change. So for our purposes right here, we're gonna talk about feeling. If you just think I'm not gonna drink today or I'm not gonna smoke weed today or I'm not gonna eat cookies today, and then you can just go get some lunch and carry on with your day, then you are not going to become successful. Eventually, you're gonna run into a trigger or a bump in the road and just say screw it and knowingly or unknowingly end up doing your harmful addictive behavior and eventually end up remorseful and shameful and fearful and angry at yourself for failing again. So how do we use visualization to help with this stuff? It kind of piggybacks on meditation, how we start our day. Remember that it's 100 miles into the woods and it's 100 miles back out. The trip out doesn't have to take as long or be as painful as the first 100 miles in. So in order for change to happen, real change, it takes time. It takes doing the things you don't want to do on a daily basis for 365 days. That's right, a whole year. To really program your subconscious minds, it takes time, effort, and commitment. You can't just change these things overnight. But anyway, let's dive into some visualization. So meditation is awesome. I always say that I don't care how happy and content you think you are in your life. If you're not meditating and praying, you are not as happy and content as you could be. Like for instance, I have an incredible life. I'm healthy, I live in a nice area, nice car, friends, family. Yet the first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning is the few things that are wrong or less than perfect in my life. So when I wake up, if I don't immediately redirect my thinking, my day will head in that direction. And I'll approach the whole day, my interactions with my family, my friends, my coworkers, with fear, frustration, and worry. So when I wake up, I like to write a few things down first, right? Writing is probably the most powerful tool for getting clear on things. Once I see it, it becomes real and manageable. So I'll talk about writing, or I have talked about writing in lots of other videos, but next I wanna do a meditation. Now that I've talked about this in detail in so many other videos before, and there are millions of ways to meditate. Find one that works for you and just do it. So Google it. If you don't know how to meditate, Google it or find a video that I've done on meditation. Now, once you're done with your first meditation, now my mind is calm, right? So it's time for the visualization. So meditation and visualizations, those, those are two different things. Now we have to visualize. Picture your day ahead in detail. It goes something like this. After this visualization, I'm gonna exercise, and then I'm gonna have breakfast, and then I'm gonna go take a shower. My huge goal for the day is whatever, fill in the blank. I'm gonna do these three things to work on crushing that goal. I know that when I speak to my partner, my spouse, my friends, my family, I'm gonna know exactly what to say and how to say it to make them feel comfortable and content in their lives. I don't need any drugs or alcohol or cookies or cake to cope with anything if the day goes the wrong way. I'll respond intelligently and respectfully to any frustrating circumstances that come up. 
And now that you are done with that visualization in your mind, drive it into your heart, feel it, picture yourself in every bit of this whole situation that you can get in throughout your day. Set the timer for like 10 minutes or whatever you feel comfortable with and spend that whole time visualizing your entire day. And now go have that day, make that day happen. Like feel it in your heart. So when you start doing this regularly, because that's what it takes to become an effective part of your life, you're going to see dramatic results. And it should be fun and exciting, not mentally draining. And you're gonna start to crave it. So do it twice a day. So you do it in the morning when you wake up and you do it like during lunch too, or before or after lunch, or go to the bathroom and sit on the toilet and do a visualization. Get back into your day. Remember the goal here is awareness and emotional regulating. If you are noticing throughout the day, you're having like negative thoughts or behaviors, redirect your thinking. Go back to your visualization and get back into that day that you put together earlier. It becomes such a powerful part of your life, I guarantee it. So if you or anybody you know is struggling or can find useful uh, information here, if they're struggling with drugs, alcohol, any addiction of any kind, I'm here to help. I'm sending you all love and good vibes. Hope everything is going your way. Have a great day today.